you are already familiar with different types of variables in JavaScript, you know what is an object and you know that almost everything in JavaScript is an object. You also know that uh, object is simply a collection of name value pairs. And uh, values of the properties in the object can be functions. Now let's take a closer look at functions in JavaScript. And uh, let's first uh, discuss purpose of the function. Why you need actually function? Answer is simple. Function is reusable set of statements and expressions. And you can reuse same set of commands again and again. Let's look at following example. In this example, let's say we want to perform summing of two variables and we want to repeat this process several times. For example, initially there are two variables a and b with corresponding values 5 and 3. And we want to find out sum of those two variables and print to the console result. And we do that here using those two commands. Before this we have declared new variable c and then we assign value to the variable c that is equal to the sum of variables a and b. And after that we log to the console c. And after this line we will get 8 in the console. Let's suppose that later on we want to sum values again, but uh, now values of variables a and b are changed and they are 8 and 12 for example. We need to perform same actions again. Assign result of a plus b to variable c and log to the console c. And of course we will get now 20 in the console. But you see that those two blocks of commands are redundant, they are actually equal. And if you want to repeat same actions again and again, you will simply repeat blocks of the code. It is not efficient. And that's why functions were introduced. Using functions, you can merge repetitive blocks of code, in this example there are two such blocks, into one block, and execute this block of commands whenever you want. Let's now see how this example will look like with function. And now you see here function called sum. And in this example it is called function declaration. We have declared function called sum. And you see that inside of this function there is a block of statements. And uh, there are two of them. And they are identical to the repetitive blocks that you see on the left side. Let c equal a plus b and console log c. This function also has parameters a and b. And those parameters are input values for the function. And those input values can be changed when you call function. And below you see first call sum parenthesis a comma b. And on this line we call sum function with two variables a and b. Now values of those two variables are 5 and 3, and that's why we will get in the console 8, same as on the left pane. After that we reassign values of variables a and b, and now they become 8 and 12 correspondingly, and after that we will call some function again with same variables a and b, and now you will see 20 in the console. That's how you can reuse function. You can call it as many times as you want. But notice that uh, main advantage is that you don't need to repeat same blocks of code again and again. This block of commands is located only in the one place, inside of the function. Ok, now you know that main purpose of the function is to eliminate need of repetitive blocks of code. And with function, you can reuse same block of code again and again. But uh, how functions look like in JavaScript? And how you can use a function? There is a variety of usages of the function in JavaScript. And function can be a variable with a value. And we have just seen this in the previous example. There was a variable called sum. 
and value of that variable was actually a function body with two commands and parameters, two parameters a and b. Next, function can be assigned as a value to the other variable. It means that when you create new variable, you can use function on the right hand side of the assignment and assign function to the variable. That is the second usage of the function. Next, function can be anonymous. Again, in the previous example, function had name, sum. But functions can be anonymous in JavaScript without any name. Next, function can be used as an argument in the call to the other function. And this function, that is an argument in the call to other function, is called callback function. And function can be value of the property in the object. And in this case, property that holds function as a value is called method. Ok, now you know why do we need a function, how function may look like, and uh, where functions can be used in JavaScript. But what is a function? Function is an object. But it's enough for introduction to the functions, let's go on after the pause. See you! Thank you for watching. If you want to connect with me in social media networks, all links you will find now here below. Also, please subscribe to this channel and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. See you in the next videos. Bye.